I have always had a fascination with abandoned places. There's something about the decay and emptiness that draws me in. So when I heard about an old psychiatric hospital that had been closed for years, I knew I had to explore it. I drove out to the hospital on a dark, stormy night. As I approached the entrance, I felt a sense of unease wash over me. The gate was rusted and creaked as I pushed it open. The wind howled around me as I stepped inside. The hospital was even more eerie than I had imagined. The walls were peeling and the floors were covered in dust and debris. The air was thick with the smell of mildew and decay. I couldn't help but feel like I was being watched. As I made my way through the corridors, I heard strange noises echoing around me. Footsteps, whispers, and even screams. I tried to shake it off, telling myself it was just my imagination. But the feeling of being watched only grew stronger. I entered a room that seemed untouched by time. It was a patient's room with a bed, a dresser, and a small window. But there was something odd about it. The bed was neatly made, the dresser was organized, and the window was clean. It was as if someone had been living there. Suddenly I heard a noise coming from the closet. It sounded like something was scratching at the door. I hesitated for a moment, then slowly opened the door. Inside the closet was a figure, huddled in the corner. It was a woman, dressed in a patient's gown with long, tangled hair. She was rocking back and forth, muttering to herself. I tried to talk to her, to calm her down, but she just stared at me with empty eyes. And then, she lunged at me, grabbing me by the throat. I fought back, trying to push her off of me, but she was surprisingly strong. As I struggled, I noticed something strange about her hands. They were covered in dirt and grime, and there were small scratches all over them. Suddenly, she let go and stumbled back into the corner. I took the opportunity to run out of the room, heart pounding in my chest. But the horror wasn't over. As I made my way through the hospital, I encountered more and more patients, all of them behaving strangely. Some were aggressive, others were catatonic. But all of them had one thing in common. Their hands were covered in dirt and scratches. I tried to escape, but it seemed like the hospital was endless. Every door I opened led to another hallway, another room filled with patients. And every patient had those same dirty, scratched hands. Finally, after what felt like hours, I found the exit. I burst through the door, gasping for breath. But when I turned around, I saw something that made my blood run cold. The patients were standing at the entrance, watching me. And as I looked closer, I realized that their eyes were all empty. There was no life in them, no spark of humanity. I ran to my car and sped away, heart pounding in my chest. But even now, as I write this, I can't shake the feeling that something followed me out of that hospital. Something dark and twisted with those same dirty, scratched hands.